algebra. I myself have started with a new fresh series of videos on linear algebra. But I just wanted to give you a first-hand experience about why linear algebra is important in terms of application and in terms of uh, finding out a job. Now, the first thing which I have found is that if you're willing to become a data scientist, now data scientists are people who, uh, you know, deals with huge amount of data. Data which can be anything, it can be populative data, it can be uh, environmental data, it can be related to atmospheres, it can be anything. But you have to remember that basically you're dealing with what is called a data. Now, if you're dealing with data, the most important thing that you need to understand is that they come in huge in number. If you have watched my first video on linear algebra and if you change the order, the output really changes. So if you want to really become a data scientist, linear algebra would be the course for you. Because linear algebra deals with matrices and vectors and most importantly there is a concept called eigen decomposition which reduces it's a very technical concept. However, I would just like to give you it decomposes things and makes it easier. So if you are willing to go as a data scientist, please do learn linear algebra. Do the all uh, ma mathematics of linear algebra exercises. Do not skip anything because my recent visit to Bangalore and other places, I found that those people who are really working as a data scientist, they have linear algebra uh, uh, quite well uh, exercised and they really know what is linear algebra. The second thing which comes is what is called computer graphics. You all know there is a raster mode and there is a GIF bitmap and other different types of uh, graphics which happens. Now what happens is that when you are using a graphics and you are using that in order to, what I would say, uh, to skew it, to stretch it, to flip it and you can rotate it, you can have a reflexive angle, all these are being done through linear algebra. Now what I'm trying to tell is that when you're doing with linear algebra, you deal with numbers, huge, that is one part. Also you deal with a lot of graphics. Now I mean to say that uh, there is a there is a, some kind of a cryptography, there is some kind of a way in which you can really codify the data. So the first line would read cat and the second right line would maybe read milk. So a, a way of codifying the data is also done through linear algebra. So first, if you're willing to go as a data scientist, it is the discipline for you. If you want to go into image consultancy, I mean, it's not image consultancy, but deal with images, computers, graphics, etc., then definitely you have to deal with what is called a, a linear algebra. The third thing which comes across is that linear algebra is also used in computer gaming. Now, say for example, I'm firing somebody and there's a coordinate, right? Then how these coordinates are being arranged? If you're arranging one coordinate with the other, if you're arranging these things, one part of the other and so, then linear algebra is equally important because linear algebra deals with graphics and vectors come into the play. Apart from that, there are a lot of other usage in uh, linear algebra. For example, uh, for deep learning and for machine learning, linear algebra is very important. NumPy uh, is also being used using linear algebra. Uh, machine learning is being used. A lot of other things are being used. So just to summarize in all, I don't want to make the video too long. There are practical applications. You must have seen a lot of practical application. But most importantly, linear algebra gives you a job as a data scientist, gives you a good secure job into image processing, into deep learning, and if you're willing to go into number, uh, into into uh, machine learning. Also remember, nowadays we are talking a lot about cyber security, quantum entanglement. These also use linear algebra because linear algebra is an efficient way to codify the data. I mean to say, you make the data in such a way that it is very difficult to decrypt. So the encryption as well as the other way of decryption of the data is being done through linear algebra.
is not just because you want to get a good score and you want to score really good in linear algebra uh, in terms of uh, your scores but this is the practical application data science uh, data handling image processing computer gaming uh, machine learning and deep learning i think that bangalore now is strong with these kind of uh, you know industries lot many students lot many young people nowadays are working when i went when i talked to them i try to find out what is actually the uh, uh, you know mathematics that they know number theory is something different which goes totally into cryptography and others but linear algebra would be the key so i think that i have given you a motivation and inspiration that when you are seeing those matrices and vectors and decomposition and hermitian matrix don't worry there's a big big science behind it there's a big career opportunity waiting for you so you just learn linear algebra do the mathematics well so that you can get a good secure job thank you for watching this video on my channel physics for students do subscribe and let me know what are your feelings about learning linear algebra thank you for watching this video we appreciate your time and patience if you want to connect with us and provide further feedback, comment or suggestions, please email us at contact.physicsforstudents at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. See you soon in the next video.